the um, um, various groups are there, churches, Holy Spirit, Peace and Justice, the Unitarians, all sorts of, um, the um, Texas Rural Legal Aid, various groups, but they all show up usually, and that's February 1st. It's a little high. First. Do you so, want to get people like, on it? Um, and anyone who wants to have a workshop, can, as always, there's always been there about eight, ten slots for workshops. So, but they're they're not really long workshops, but they're. But you can have workshops, and certainly if the presentation's ready. Yeah. That seems great. Or if you want a workshop on the general strike, you'd have that there too. So anyhow, it's it's certainly available, and it's it's in Westlaco. It's always in the Westlaco South exactly. Texas College, and uh, it's February first. No. The first February of the first Saturday of February, I think it's the third or fourth of February, and um, there's a speaker coming in from San from San Diego, who's um, Justin Acres Chacon, and he's a, a writer who's been trying to um, been looking at NAFTA, the effect of NAFTA on Mexico, and connecting that to the um, 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 to the collapsing economy in the U.S. Is there a website up about the uh, about the conference? And we, yeah, I I completely one that was about last, last year's. But well, last year's is there, and all the conference speakers and everything you can find it. <coughs> but, um, yeah, there's a there is. I've forgotten how it works. It's piece adjusted. We could put it on your lawn, but yeah, but there's it's set. Mm -hmm. Rooms are reserved, and it's all set. So it's available for people, and yeah, yeah. I don't um, know. What's your name, sir? Nick. Nick. I'm Nick. I'm Nick. 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 And that people realize that it's open for that. That's what it's for. And anything, you know, if you want, please come. And there's workshops available. And we'd love the space for us to have, for Occupy to have its own, like, like a booth or something? Or oh, know. yeah, because they're going to have a booth. They're going to have a booth and it can have a workshop in the afternoon. Yeah. I, f I just, I heard this from a friend today that was like, you know, can we start occupying positive events, right? So this would seem like a great... And it helps us too because we want to do all the work. Yeah, there's anti death penalty people there. There's um, That's the traditional sounds good to me. progressives of the valley that, that rallied to stop the war. <laughs> Activist people yeah. for peace and justice. But I thought the summit was to address these workshops, these topics that you just came up with. That's not the purpose of it? Yeah, this, so the, um, the, the, like we should, we should probably think about this as being an additional additional um, space for political desarrollando our political um, perspective, uh -huh. um, developing a political perspective. Because the summit would be it would be five hours of, of intensely these things that we've been talking about. Kind of uh, yeah, kind of like a. I mean. I don't want to call it a retreat. Like, yeah, yeah. The dad word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that word. Just, you have to, you have to have, there has to be some sort of a swimming pool or something in there. I'm what trying about to have, uh, <laughs> for, the, for the first Saturday in January, be, it, for, first of all, is a Saturday the best idea or probably better than a weeknight? And, and if it's a Saturday, maybe the first one in January? After holiday season is over and people are back in town and Chinese New Year hitting the road, hitting hitting things again, yeah, we gotta take that into consideration too. The Homer Pavilion is a good place to hold it. It can hold a lot of people, and it's got already tables and chairs and. The where? At the Homer Pavilion uh -huh. on Hackberry in McAllen, and it's free. Is that an indoor venue? Yeah, it is indoor, but it's got these big sliding doors that you can leave open or you can close. Uh, it's free, but you need to give them enough time, you know, get a date with enough time that somebody else doesn't get it. So, it's a precinct too. If you want to reserve the home pavilion, you have to go to the precinct too. Counting precinct too? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Is that like I used to summon it? 
Yeah, it's yeah. huge. It, it would accommodate the summit. It certainly would. All all inside the building, you have little tables. It's even got a little kitchen around. kitchenette there. They make barbecues kitchen and things. Oh, that's there. pretty neat. Mm -hmm. oh. Would you like to uh, find out what date is available in January, February? I can. I can contact them and ask them if they have something available in January. And Saturday would be the best day? I think so. Because if we're talking about five hours, we're not going to do that on a weekday. And it gets dark early. Yeah, it's getting yeah. dark earlier. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be cold, too. Mm -hmm. But we need an indoor. I was hoping to, if we could, firm up a a day uh, so that we can have a lot of advanced promotion of this mm -hmm. uh, at any of the actions that we do. I don't even know what actions are being contemplated for December, uh, but certainly promoted on the web. On the other hand, if we need to, if we really want the Palmer Pavilion, we probably can't finalize the date until we talk to them. And usually okay. they require at least a couple weeks' notice for the mm -hmm. dates. About how big do you guys expect the event to be? Just off the top of your heads. What was the last time? 2,000 people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that'd be nice. Out. Based based off of prior attendance, yeah, I totally expect 2,000 people. Say <laughs> free, free or shotgun or something? Like between three or shotgun. <laughs> 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 and raven soups. <laughs> I mean, I'll say. I'd say probably between 30 and 50 people. How many were at the last uh, thing that had workshops? The all day thing from a long time ago? Yeah. Yeah. How do you give me time? Did you give me a hundred? Like 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 at the most, a hundred. Mm -hmm. At one time, it was probably like around 40. Mm -hmm. uh, well, if you have a long, drawn out event, the population will fluctuate. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. If we could get a couple of dates. You know, if one is not available, maybe mm -hmm. the other one is. If you guys can't get Palmer Pavilion that day, I'll look into the incubator. It's big enough for that many people. Incubator what? Ooh. 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 If, if <laughs> Occupy UTPA uh, is an official group, they can start registering for resources at UTPA. Yeah, they can start using the campus facility. Yeah. 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 We haven't discussed uh, yeah. being an official. Yeah. 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 It's kind of onerous, really. You already have to be an official group if you're having meetings in school. Uh, you're recognized. Do it. No. Oh, you're not. But it's not, it's not like a bunch of us. Oh, it's maybe, it's maybe like five thoughts. Like there's no people. Plus people who want to help out. Are they recognized by them? No. Are they recognized? Hmm? No. Are they recognized? Uh, like, are they on the OSD and all that stuff? No. No. Uh, no. We haven't decided whether or not like we want to do that anyways. If you do like, that, it, it could be a good idea, research. but it could be a bad idea as well because then we'd be like kind of told what to do when it went through. Maybe kind of. You don't have to have a day of January. We can, yeah. I had an anti-worker. You could sign up. You have to ask for all the to be honest. that you gave or whatever. Just, just play, go, go with the flow, dude. Whatever. There may be an, uh, an organization already exist in, in existence at PAM that... Um, yeah, there was resources of me and Ivana are from uh, the EAC, Environmental so Awareness Club. So we should be able to do stuff if we guess the... And That's Rigo's a record too. Rigo, Yeah, Rigo, he likes to occupy stuff too. Um, so I might be able to get some resources from them. I don't know what kind of resources you guys can talk it's to. It's because you can rent our room. Yeah, go over there. Oh, yeah. Maybe. The audience rooms. Yep. Yeah. That's probably the kind of thing you want to get. Should they Could even get the room with food in the room. And actually doing the doing <coughs> camp at Panam would, would, uh, would also help facilitate this, the second um, component of it, which would be having an action. Because then we could have, like, Okay. Yeah, March, yeah, um, UTPA yeah. to like the courthouse, you know. What about the parking though? It's hard to. Oh park yeah, there. Look, you can get Saturday. visitor passes uh, on anything. On Saturday yeah. there would be no. Yeah, Saturday there would be no. Saturday. 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 Yeah, there you go. Yeah. After seven is free wherever. Or, uh, I guess we don't want to do it after seven now. Like people don't want to. Weekend be is free. Four. <laughs> yeah. Weekend you park wherever. So the date they're talking about. I don't think we've. Uh, yeah. Nail that down. So if uh, if it's Palmer Pavilion, we'd have to ask uh, to find out what what they have spoken. Um If I could get two Saturday dates, then maybe one of those will work out. How about, how about we decide that uh, no. we will delegate to someone to check these venues and try to get the first 
week of January, if possible, if not the second. Seven. Is this oh, for the summit? The for the five, right. the five yeah. summit? Uh -huh. It's been worried too far away. Yeah, Pan Am yeah, right. yeah, or the Palmer Pavilion or the incubator was mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So that's the 7th of the 14th. Yeah. Steve, that's the 7th of the 14th of January? I, I don't have a calendar. The yeah. first Saturday is the 7th. Okay. And then the second Saturday is the 14th. Uh, do either of those dates sound good to people? Are there conflicts with it? Not Other organizations doing big, big things. Does those people who are students, I know that the when I was in, a student, um, like the seventh would for sure be people if people are still on break. Would is it hard to, to get in the building? Um, yeah, to get in the building um, during break. It's kind of all the weekend. Like all the guys to do this. Schools that will be going on. So the school will probably be closed. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to. Can you look into 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 that on in January? Um, what the earliest day that the school is open uh, is the early Saturday the school is open. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking to. Sorry. Yeah, but January seventh or yeah, January seventh. We're not even gonna be in school then, so they're they're not gonna have anything it's during. Still part of winter break. Yeah. yeah. They won't have classes, but you know. Should be a janitor like open the door. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Meeting and yeah. yeah. buildings yeah. and. Yeah. Check, yeah, ask, ask the, the group that you said that was a, rec a recommended the organization. Agency. But if we yeah. want to do an action there, maybe um, we do want to do an action there. Students will be back to the ground. Yeah. So we'll we'll be the 12th, by the 14th? Students still won't be around campus on yeah. Saturday. Anyway, oh, that's not that's the fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 So we're not interested in those two dates? You just said that. We still need to look into it. We need to find out if. If we can have access to the campus on the seventh, uh, and seventh and fourteenth would be the, the the days that you look. And Palmer will be free those days. Yeah, because even if we reserve seven them and we decide not to do it there, we can just call and cancel. So it. maybe UTPA, Palmer Incubator, maybe if you could look into that. And I'm pretty sure it's Palmer. Palmer. Like I'll, I'll double check and call uh, tomorrow. I'll post it on on occupiers, uh -huh. um, organizers. Um, Post which no, Saturdays no. in January are available? So which Saturday is it? Uh, anyone, like the first two? One of yeah. the, one of those Seven, two? The Let's prioritize the first, then the second, and then okay. the third. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, ladies and gents, I gotta be going. Take care. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Have fun. Goodbye, farewell, amen. <laughs> 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 I'm checking at 7.42. The, uh, so far, for, for, so, so far, so far, here we have uh, the seventh and the fourteenth. Um, Rico will look into Pan Am, um, and we'll also talk to EAC or another student group. Uh, Stella, 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 Stella will look into the Palmer Pavilion, and Zach will look into Incubator. Um, so if we say we do have it on the, the seventh, um, when would be the cut the cutoff for having the having your idea for a, a um, when we went on a timeline for now until then we would need a cutoff period for submitting uh, yeah. workshop ideas, um, which for workshop proposal um, we need a. I don't know what else would be on that timeline from now until then. Um, oh yeah. Okay. Well, publishing, uh, having an event page. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, well, okay, okay. This, this is gonna tie. I, I know I mentioned the Omar, but I think this could tie into the event as as a tool. Um, <coughs> so I guess I might as well just describe it. I, it's Ralph left. Well, wait, no, let me have Ralph come back because he's the money guy. So I'll wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. So we, we, we need to uh, have an event page that actually lists the workshops and um, as a tool of promotion. That would not be helpful. With with uh, I'm attending or maybe or I can't attend. RSVP. Can we put something in the newspaper? Yeah. Because I know the first event was great. It was great. It was in the paper. It was a little blurb in the paper in the like monitor, a, but like not, that's where I saw it. And, you know, came to the first meeting. Um, hmm.
That would be good, or, or the, even the events news or some of the free papers. Yeah, yeah. Fire and all those I, I'll fire. call and ask about that. Maybe, maybe someone could be the publicity um, committee. Do we have a PR committee? Yeah. The PR committee? Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, we have me, <laughs> Debbie uh, Outreach, Rahul, and, and, um, and oh, Jose. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Zach's on the radio, too. But we should do a press release and get it to all the media outlets, all the papers, all the radio, that have public service announcements. PSAs. Mm -hmm. um, maybe there sh um, should aim to have a list of workshops within a week or two of now. So that it can go on that press release uh, and on the web page. When do you think? Uh, when do you think we should final, uh, uh, roughly finalize the content of the day to be put into publicity? At least, at least two weeks before. Is that too too long? So by years, what? We got about a month. I, guess, I, I think uh, short. for the media, how, uh, wouldn't you want to be even more in advance yeah. for the media? Yeah. We, we can put whatever workshops um, are known um, by the time we send out a press release, and we can send a, a, an updated press release um, a couple right. weeks after that. And, well, the, the the way that the press works down here is like they they really don't care if it's uh, if it's uh, earlier than a week in advance. Um, so we can we can um, we all they need to, to 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 see, and they won't, and also they won't publish um, a list of workshops. It's okay. not useful at all for the media. Mm -hmm. um, it would be useful for getting the calendars to like, yeah, yeah. We should have the calendars. Yeah, yeah. they have the community yeah. calendars that anybody can. Put information in there about an event. Mm -hmm. It doesn't cost anything. And you should post it to uh, Craigslist. And, and the city, some of the cities have their TV uh, stations where they run information about what's going on in the community. Mm -hmm. That doesn't cost so, Stephen, maybe your point, like a publishing deadline, like we should have a de like a much sooner deadline to at least get the initial word out, right? Is that what you're saying? Or a um, basic agenda? Well, I guess we should give a uh, press release out uh, to all the sources as soon as they're willing to start announcing it. I don't know if some of these papers can have it in their calendars. On Twitter, they might do it sooner. Like, I think the modern news with the Steva, or I know, I'm out, I think on Twitter, we can get people to push it yeah. sooner. It might as well. So the, like that's the probably community gonna calendar more will publish on everything that's going on in January. You know, like they have November, December, January, and they'll announce what's going on in those months. Mm -hmm. Is he allowed in the monitor? On there? Yeah. As long as it's a community event, that it's not a fundraiser or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I um, get back into the market? Okay, now that Ralph's here, the money man. Ralph Dan. Money. Where money? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bought the lab. So, um, I just want to share the story real quick. I was at the Hindu temple. I go on Monday Mondays, and it was the oddest thing. But this time, with um, with the the, the, the little sweet thing after prayer, um, they handed out a dollar. <laughs> it was really weird. Like the temple was giving money away. Um, it was just a buck. But we have, I think, hundred eighty dollars right now, right? Yes. And I'm not saying we give it all away. But this is what I was thinking. Um, we talked about having a marketplace, right? We talked about all the skills that we have here amongst us and beyond just us, all the people in, that are associated with Occupy McAllen. I thought it would be an amazing, okay, I don't want to overhype it, but like those dollars, <laughs> branding them, like stamping them with the, our logo, right? There's nothing wrong with that. It still has the value of the dollar. I, you I think we're not supposed to debase it. You can't mess with the money. You can't, you can't make it, you can't, you can't it make it, it uncover the main middle part. But, but you people can still do it anyways. Okay, you can do this, Color yes. Or yeah. or no, you, you can, can. you physically can. Around, but you can't like do the center where it says. Okay, you don't have to deface it, all right? You can wrap it, but we'll put a ribbon on it. Okay, that's besides the point. God, I thought I was, I thought I was talking with radical people. <laughs> it's like, don't mess with 
Don't no. No, 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 the no, 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 Whoever is going to we, we give this, we're basically giving money back to the people that has now been empowered um, with our Occupy McAllen network. What does that mean? That means that these dollars are good to be redeemed for anyone participating in this service. So, for example, I'll do yoga for you. If you give me this Occupy McAllen buck, I'll do yoga for you for an hour. Maybe. Oh, we get a false dollar. Pay for money. Like, pay for no, because I'm not like monopoly money. Yeah. It's so my, my thing is like, so they're power. gonna get your buck and throw away the ribbon and just take it. Well, that's fine. That's fine. We're saying that you know people say it's monopoly no, money. Well, let's make it monopoly money. I mean, that's why I was saying let's color it. You need to make stuff. it uncounterfeitable. So but, they don't take advantage. Okay, of hear me out. Let's hear me out. Guys, guys, let's go. 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 Okay. Let's get a rally our troops. Okay. We don't have to publish this why because we don't want people off the street taking a buck and then just go to McDonald's with it. Yeah. <laughs> we want our troops to come, say get your dollar back that you've invested in Occupy the County, you donated it, get it back, but guess what, now it's empowered by our marketplace. And I, I would take it a step further where we have the serial numbers on all the dollars and if we want to make it real simple, you just write down all the serial numbers and then for example on my status on Facebook maybe I'll, I'll list my service. Maureen could list her service, we could list all the other services, and, and then let it figure itself out. I don't think it'll be too complicated to say, hey, Maureen, here's the buck. You know, Maureen's like, what, busy today? Oh, no, yeah. No, it'll be like, okay, Maureen, will be like, well, next week I'll get you. Okay, and then whatever she's offering to me, we, we have a new, we've created our own marketplace. I don't think it's that difficult. Um, and that's what I wanted to suggest, what to do with the money, instead of it ends up just getting spent on Come. one event, you know, yeah, we, you know, this or that or whatever, this is going to put it back out. So we don't have to vote on this now, but I, I, I wanted to put it out there and maybe make a presentation soon. I think it might be a way to get the get people excited. I think it's something different. It allows us to exchange our skills. It sounds like fun. I thought, I thought you were going to propose all of us together going to the Hindu temple whenever they hand out dollars <laughs> <laughs> so we can raise some money. Hey, if I give us all the dollars, the next time. Get in line to get the dollars. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. Maybe we could have an event where people bring in a dollar and we give them like 10 coupons and then they can use them on different things for different trades with different people. Yeah, you might as well have a carnival like at that point. Well, yeah, but like that will have like... Yeah, 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 but like you're, you're gonna get, you're gonna get... First, you're gonna have fundraising for the organization. Dude, and then, to. two, you're also giving them a service. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think maybe, I mean, let me continue. This is not supposed to be a one-time thing. So, guys, I, let me play it out one more time. So, people come here. They've now got 100, 100 Occupy McCallum bucks, own bucks, are spread out now. This is going to force people to interact with each other. To say, hey, what can I get with this dollar? It's going to force a conversation. And, and to me, it, it could then, you know, hopefully more people participate. So it grows. It's not anyone's controlling the money. It's just within this group. And in the end, worst case that happens, you still got a buck, you know? Like, that's what I think is cool. <laughs> like, you can still redeem it for its whatever value, which is a dollar. So we're going to have bonus. yoga and what else? That's the point. So, like, that's that dollar amount. <laughs> whoever comes can say, okay, well, I'll do babysitting. Okay, well, I'll do computer repair. We had this come up in our, oh. in, in our forum. You know, I'll do uh, math tutoring. A so dollar is like a voucher sure. card. Yeah, it's it's. it's you're not giving it to the future show. Like 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 well, and then and then you give the dollar. Yeah, so okay. Uh, I mean, I, I I give it to you, right? Okay, so let's play this out. You know, so everyone now we should just do we have the singles? Well, okay, we didn't mark them, but we don't have too many singles. We only have four, I believe. So we can. I mean, with the rest of okay, so everyone in here has a buck. <laughs> Okay. Everybody has a buck now. I don't know if we should give the money away. Uh, yeah, I think we should use it. For That's all I was thinking. Like coupons. Uh, yeah. We should have budget cards. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're we're not giving it away. We're giving it to ourselves. This is a test of our integrity. 
Do people... Well, then use your money. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to give us the money back if they pay you for yoga? You're going to turn it back in. If 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 someone gives me a buck for yoga, then I have two choices. I can go to the dollar store and and get some Kit Kats with it, or I can turn around and go, Hey, I need someone to repair my bike chain. You know, I can't do it. And it turns out Ivana can't. Okay, so now that money just circulated to her, and we're starting to tie ourselves together beyond just you know, what we have right now, and it allows anyone to participate regardless of where they live, who they are, their papers, you know, undocumented or not. Everyone I, can, can, can work off this bug. I have an idea kind of like, like towards that or like related to that. Like once we get our outreach like good enough that we can like talk to business owners and whatever, maybe we could get them to participate and, and value the dollar like do differently, like discounts for like a certain kind of membership yeah. or coupons or something like that, you know, yeah. kind of related to that. Which can also, like, eventually evolve into the whole, you know, points system. Like exactly. Non-dollar. Non I'm sure there'd be business owners, like local better. business owners. I mean, we spread more propaganda before we start messing with the money, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we need to educate people about how money works and doesn't work, and it's just a tool to get you things, you know. But we're not edu We're doing it. That that would be the education. Is actually learning how to. Like, I would like to get my bike repaired. Do you need your bike repaired? Is that what this is about? <laughs> 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 No, it's a battle that we're, we're all struggling. <laughs> I, think, get it for a I think we're here because we're struggling, we're suffering, uh -huh. like we're all affected by poverty. And why aren't we tapping into each other's resources, you know? Um,